What if the reason you feel more distracted, less focused, or mentally tired isn't your age, but your daily routine? Most of us think losing intelligence happens suddenly, like getting older, but the truth is much more. It happens in the small things we do every single day, habits that feel normal, harmless, even productive, but slowly wear down how clearly we think. And the craziest part? Most people don't even notice it's happening, and this is how it's going on. The first habit is something almost all of us are guilty of, always looking for a distraction. If you can't sit still for even a few minutes without pulling out your phone, refreshing a feed, or opening a random tab, it's not because you're busy, it's because your brain has gotten used to avoiding boredom. And that sounds harmless, but it quietly hurts your intelligence. But the truth is, boredom is actually where your brain does some of its best work. When nothing is grabbing your attention, your mind starts making connections on its own. That's when problem solving happens, when ideas click together, and when creativity finally has space to show up. But when you keep feeding your mind quick hits like short videos, gossip, and constant scrolling, you're negatively training it to expect instant stimulation instead of long, focused thinking. And over time, that makes it harder to stay focused, harder to think deeply, and harder to come up with original ideas. The smartest thinkers in history didn't come up with breakthroughs while scrolling. They had space to think because their minds were quiet. So if silence makes you uncomfortable, that's the first sign something's off. A simple fix is to start small. The next time you're waiting in line or walking somewhere, resist the urge to grab your phone. Let your brain sit with the moment. It might feel strange at first, but that's actually your brain waking back up and learning how to think clearly again. This is how you start rebuilding real long-term intelligence. The second habit that quietly lowers your intelligence isn't about what you say. It's about how little you listen. Yeah, most of us don't even notice when we're doing it. We interrupt, we argue, we assume we already know what's coming next. But every time you stop listening, your brain stops learning. Neuroscience calls this cognitive closure, the moment your mind shuts the door to new information because your ego thinks it's already full. And psychology says that the people who talk the most often do it to protect a fragile sense of identity, not to share knowledge. Meanwhile, the quiet ones, they're observing. Their brains are mapping patterns, connecting ideas, absorbing details. True intelligence isn't about sounding smart, it's about staying open. Every time you listen, your neurons literally rewire, making space for a perspective you didn't have before. So next time you feel the urge to prove you're right, pause. Ask a question instead. Because growth doesn't come from speaking, it starts with listening. The third habit is avoiding anything that makes you feel unsure or not good enough. Maybe you start learning a new skill, pick up a book, or try a project you've never done before, and the moment it gets difficult, you drop it. That isn't laziness, it's fear. Fear of looking slow, fear of feeling clueless, and fear of not being naturally good at something right away. But this is exactly where intelligence grows. Your brain works a lot like a muscle, and if you never push it past what feels comfortable, it simply doesn't get stronger. When you run away from challenges, you stay mentally soft, and over time, you lose the ability to adapt, to solve problems, and to think creatively. Meanwhile, the people who actually improve are the ones who let themselves struggle a little. They don't see confusion as a sign they're failing, but as part of the learning process. So the next time something makes you feel dumb, don't escape it. That uncomfortable moment is actually your brain stretching, building new connections, and trying to get smarter. That's the real training ground for intelligence. The fourth habit is thinking you already know enough. This one is tricky because it doesn't show up as ignorance. It shows up as confidence. You stop being curious, stop asking questions, and start believing you've basically figured life out. And when that happens, your thinking slowly becomes narrow and shallow. Instead of trying to understand things deeply, you rely on quick opinions, shortcuts, and whatever feels familiar. People who stay smart never assume they're the smartest in the room. They keep a beginner's mindset, the kind that makes you ask why, the kind that makes you double check what you believe, and the kind that keeps your mind flexible. That humility is what keeps the brain awake and growing. A simple reality check is to ask yourself when you last changed your mind about something important. If it hasn't happened in a long time, it's not always a sign that you're right. It might be a sign that you've stopped growing. Staying curious is what keeps intelligence alive. And there it is. A drop in intelligence doesn't come from bad genes or bad luck. It comes from the everyday habits that quietly dull your mind. 
constant distraction weakens your focus, talking more than you listen slows your learning, avoiding difficult things holds back your growth, and pride shuts the door on curiosity. But the good news is that you don't need to fix everything at once. Even catching and breaking just one of these habits can make your mind clearer and sharper over time. Not because you're forcing yourself to be smarter, but because you're removing what's been holding you back. Real intelligence isn't about knowing every answer. It's about staying curious, staying disciplined, and being humble enough to keep learning even when it feels uncomfortable. If there are any habits here that at least once you've noticed in yourself, share in the comments whether you realized and got over it or not. And if something here opened your eyes, hit the like button and subscribe for more honest conversations about growth and self-awareness. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.